we said we would an answer some uh, via email. Um, we have our sales team doing that as we speak. So um, we thought today we would take the time to talk about Facebook Live because a lot of the questions were about Facebook Live. So Jim, let's uh, let's get right to it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Everybody knows that Facebook Live is a big thing. It's all over the news. Uh, and we wanted to dive in and talk a little bit about what, sort of what's going on. Why is Facebook Live so popular? How should media companies look at it and what ultimately does it mean? And this first point here I want to make is that we need to make a distinction. The video originates as live, but it's not necessarily consumed live. So everything from, say, Chewbacca Mom to the more tragic circumstances with the, the, the shootings and the you know, other sort of breaking news, the audience that sees that live is actually fairly small. It's right. actually once the news starts to spread, it becomes viral, et cetera. Most people are consuming it after the fact. So it's it's really like Facebook Live repeated. It's, yes, it's, it's, exactly. It originated live, and right. it's important, and that's an important element. We're going to talk in a second about why that's so important. But the actual consumption, I don't have the statistics yet, but I'd be willing to bet that 99.9% .9 of the consumption, uh, at least of some, one of these real viral stories, actually occurs after the fact. Because how could it? Nobody knows to watch when it's happening live. And if it's just five minutes long and you're not there during that five minutes and you're not following that outlet or friends with that person, how could you possibly see so it? So like us, for, for instance, right now, we don't have thousands of people who know know that we're live. However, right. we will get thousands of people that watch afterwards. So. There you go. Exactly. Right. So you want to talk a little bit about reach. Yeah. So the thing I think we definitely need to point out is that Facebook has chosen to give live video disproportionate reach. And, and that's an important distinction, right? Because what Facebook chooses to do now, circumstances down the road, they may choose to not give a, as much reach. Uh, but I think I would definitely encourage media companies especially to capitalize on it now because that is the thing that's getting the reach. And frankly, we see that from our customers. I don't go to a customer meeting where that doesn't come up. People are very interested in live video. They understand the, the reach. They understand that it's also a very different kind of video than maybe what they're used to before. It's got a little bit more of, a, uh, of an unproduced, unscripted feel to it. And even the production values are a little bit different to the degree that people are shooting, say, on their iPhones or their Android devices compared to sort of a more professional television studio. So talk about you know, opportunity, also disproportionate reach means, I mean, that, that means a huge, huge opportunity. So talk about that. Yeah. So if, you're, uh, uh, if you have a, a page with two million fans on it and you post a, a video uh, that was shot with Facebook Live, Facebook is going to give that far, far, far greater reach than if you post a link post or an image, or, or just a, a link back to your to your website, right? And, and again, it's all about people can't react to and consume your content if they never see it. Remember, there's a lot of content competing for a fixed amount of consumer attention in the news feed, and so ultimately getting your item seen in the news feed is the first and biggest challenge from a distribution to social standpoint, and Facebook Live has that advantage built right in. So if you're not, if you're a media company, you're not using Facebook Live now, it's a huge missed opportunity. Right. Uh, the, the audience is huge. We know about this proportion of reads because Facebook is favoring, obviously, this kind of content. Yeah, that's what they've said. Yeah, they've said that we want we want people to use live, and, and they're giving people the reach to encourage and incentivize them to do that. So, give me some more more, more reasons why everybody should be on it. I mean, that, those are if those aren't enough. <laughs> well, so let's talk about this here. The the more than one billion people can access Facebook uh, can can broadcast using Facebook Live. That's right. a little bit of a different point than what you just asked, but I, I think it's really important for us to understand the the sort of landscape and ecosystem. Anybody with a smartphone uh, and uh, uh, you know, f access to Facebook can go out and do this. And, and so that's really, uh, that's different. That's a very different s societal, it's got public policy implications, it's got all kinds of things that we're seeing. And I think you're going to continue to see these kinds of stories where life happens and Facebook Live is there to record it. Um, that's really important. But I want to also make the point that um, those one billion people who have the ability to, to sort of do all this, they're not necessarily producing professional content. Media companies, remember the title of this is media companies are going to win at Facebook Live because media companies know how to produce high quality content that's engaging and they produce a lot of it, a lot more than you or I do. So the things that have been getting attention like the Chewbacca mom for instance, yeah. um, obviously the, the, sh the shooting in Louisiana uh, and Mrs., uh, Minneapolis as well, th those sorts of things Th th those are outliers. Those aren't. Those aren't things that are. Th those are completely. Oh, yeah, they are outliers. In fact. Well, at least in terms of volume, right? They're right. the 001 percent of of the total volume. Mo most Facebook Live video is somebody walking down the street or kids at a playground or whatever you know happens to be. And and no disrespect intended to those who create it, but it's not necessarily that interesting from a mass consumption standpoint. And and one thing I also want to mention here because we we glossed over it, I think it's important here just to talk about that one billion. You know, there's 2.1 billion people in the world who own a smartphone, and about 1.6 billion people in the world who use 
Facebook. And so again, I mean, you think about it, there's about seven and a half billion people on the planet. So we're talking significant portion of the human population here that, that is involved in this. And of right. course, you need to have both. You have to have both a smartphone and Facebook to be able to do that. Don't have the exact numbers, but one can reasonably assume it's over a billion people who have the ability. So again, one more than a billion people out of seven and a half billion people on the planet have the ability to do this. So yeah, it, it is transformative. And I think you're going to hear lots of additional uh, stories and see lots of examples of things going on in the world that are captured by, by Facebook Live, but we don't want to miss the key point, which is those are in fact the outliers. The professional media companies are going to fill in past the 0.1% or the 0.01%, and the lion's share of the content that's going to be shared is likely to come from media companies, uh, at least in terms of you know the, the substance of the reach. So we, we know we know the, the audience potential is, is massive. We know Facebook is, as you said, giving it uh, video disproportionate reach. We know from our own numbers that uh, the video shares and likes are getting a disproportionate amount because we did that research about a week ago. Yeah. So this is all, there's almost like no reason not to, the video is is really where it's at. That's it. exactly right. And I mean, it's not lost on us the fact that we're here sitting here on Facebook Live uh, talking about Facebook Live, and so what we've done here is pulled up the, our Facebook page here, and our, our Facebook Live will show up here in a, in a few seconds. That was our, our webinar from earlier this week. So, uh, you know, Facebook Live, the, the barriers to entry, anybody, again, with an iPhone or an Android device, there we, okay, there we go. Here's uh, so me talking while I'm talking. We'll see what kind of lag time there is. But anybody with a, an iPhone or an Android device can do that, and any media company who has employees with iPhones or Android devices, and that's every media company can do this. And of course, there, there is some professional uh, you know, equipment and, and production values and those types of things that we've already started to talk about and see with our clients as well as they try to understand how do I incorporate this distribution vehicle into my content production uh, creation and production you know, you know, arrangements that have professional quality cameras, lighting, and, and those types of things. So I think there's a lot more to come on that. And we, you know, we managed to do it, so we know, we know it's obviously not that difficult, um, and I, I think you look better back here than, than in real life. <laughs> um, joke, joking aside, the, the one thing now, of course, that everyone wants to know is how do you make money? Right. Well, and that is a great topic because w what Facebook has done, many people saw the Wall Street Journal story that talked about them incenting to the tune of about $50 million, five zero million million uh, in aggregate a number of celebrities and media companies to produce Facebook Live video. Uh, it's unclear whether that's just a seed arrangement to try to get the, the, the kickstart uh, uh, going on content creation or whether there's going to be a more sustainable model. And, and if it's not a more sustainable model, then it's really incumbent on the media companies to start understanding, okay, how does this Facebook Live actually make them revenue? And we're going to talk about that in a, in a subsequent episode. Okay, fantastic. So. We will be back uh, same time next uh, Thursday, a week from today, and uh, we'll talk about monetization uh, on video. And uh, thanks very much for joining us, everybody.